your mark. <laughs> Get set. Go! The shot shooters are giving it their best shot in an effort to slam dunk the competition. The hot hand is going to hit five in the hoops first. We'll score a net profit of $25 and control the court in the first round on the fastest breaking show on television. Two over here and three over there. Three to one. We need to get five. There's four over there now. One more will do it. Four to two. Five is up. They get it right there. The red team, $25. Let's go play some family double there. It's family double there. And now, here's the host of family double there, Mark Summers. Hi there. This is Howard Costell speaking of sports. <laughs> Hey, that was fun. We played a little basketball over there, and the red team got $25 on their side of the board. And what do you say we just forget all the normal stuff we say at the beginning, and let's meet the red team. They're on my left. They're called the Sliminators. Hello, Sliminators. They are uh, from the Florida area, Tampa, which is one of my favorite cities down here. We go over to Busch Gardens and have a great time over there. Say hello to Tom, to Jody, to Corey, and to Julie. And uh, what's new in your lives, family? Uh, tell me something exciting about yourselves. Well, let's see. We have a friend visiting from Arizona in the audience, Rachel, Rachel Bash. Hi, Rachel. How are you? And who and else? Grandma you know? Helen is Grandma in the Helen's audience. Here. Yeah, and uh, son Joseph and daughter Madeline at got, home. Got them all in there. Yeah, huh? That's good. Yeah. Well, you have $25. A team to my right. They're from, uh, where are they from? Grand Rapids, Michigan. Say hello to the Blue Devils. Hello, Blue Devils. <laughs> and uh, these are some real nice people we met before. Their names are Jerry and uh, Jamie and Jenny. And Sandy, we always get a chance to meet before the show. And uh, who's the athletic uh, coach over here? Somebody coach? I am. You are. What do you coach? Um, keep, well, actually, pitching machine. Pitching machine? Yes. You want to explain that to me? Well, it's a pitching machine that pitches the ball instead of having someone actually physically pitching. Really? Now, is this girls softball? Yes, it is. And how long have you been doing that? This will be my third year. Great. And, Dad, do you uh, coach any sports at all? Just play. What do you play? Softball. Oh, good. I do that. That's fun. Good exercise. No money over there. Let's talk about the rules here on Family Double there. In fact, uh, Robin, where's Robin? Can we get Robin on here, as a matter of fact? Robin, I've been given the rules here for almost six and a half years. I think it's time that you gave the rules. Bring Robin over here and uh, tell, tell them the rules. Okay, this is the rules. Mark's going to ask you a question. If you don't know the answer, you can dare. If you don't know the answer, you can double dare. And if you still don't know the answer, you can take a physical challenge. Thank you. That was pretty darn close. Okay? Thank you. That's Robin. Thank you so much, Robin. There you go. Robin, given the rules there. $25 for the Sliminators. Here's their first question. In Batman Returns, who plays Catwoman? Ooh. Michelle Pfeiffer. That is a right answer. $25. That is for your side of the board. You now have 50. Michelle Pfeiffer plays Catwoman. <laughs> who is the first person to set foot on the moon? Ooh, you should know that. Or you could dare them. Neil Armstrong? Is right. Neil what? Neil. Neil Armstrong. Neil Armstrong, okay. Got to speak up there, folks. Got to speak up. I can't hear over here. Speak in that microphone and say, Neil Armstrong. Okay, very good. Who was the first person to set foot on the moon? That was the answer. That was the question. Ah, Got to go to the next one. In 1804, who shot and killed Alexander Hamilton in a duel? Bring it to $100, or you could dare them. Dare. All right, now worth $50. In 1804. Who shot and killed Alexander Hamilton in a duel, or you could double dare them back? Double dare. Now worth $100, or you'll have to take that physical challenge. Physical challenge. Audience, anybody know? Aaron Burr. See, they knew it. I knew it. Okay, we have $100. Did you know? Why didn't you say it? Come over here. Come over here. Right over here. Now. Your husband knew that it was Aaron Burr, but how come you wouldn't allow him to say it? Because we wanted to be slime. You wanted to be... Yeah. See, that's nice. People want to get messy on this show, and this is the perfect time to do it. Chris, bring this out over here, and... Uh, oh, good. I want you to have a seat right underneath this little interesting contraption. Not you. I'd like her to do that. You have some fun over there, and uh, let me show you what you're going to be doing. We have some fruits, but they're not really fruits. They're balloons filled with a juice-like substance. When I say go... You need to send those up there in that area over there, and you need to get them in that basket. Now, we have oranges. We have bananas. Uh, more juice than these. These are plums. We have uh, rutabagas and uh, kumquats today. Huh? Kiwi? Well, these are, kiwis are green. These aren't kiwis. Anyway, what you must do is try and find the ones that have the most juice in them. It's up to you. I won't tell you what to do. And send them up there. Let's hear what our, uh, what our juicing machine sounds like. 
Oh, good. <laughs> it's like that. Startled her a little bit, didn't we? And uh, the quicker you get them in there, the more juice comes down. You want to keep your head level, sort of like this, down like that, because that juice will be flying around, and you want it to land in that cup. If at the end of 30 seconds that juice is past that line, you become $100 richer. I love these juice machines. They're so good. You put a little, uh, oh, carrots and apples, and oh, it's wonderful. Good luck. On your mark. Get set. Go! Get them in there. you got to set a little harder than that. Oh, there's the first one. Yeah, that's what we want to see. Keep on doing it. You missed on that one. You need to have more accuracy. Don't stop. Just keep setting them in there. Keep setting them in there with 19 seconds remaining. We need to get that in that cup. Keep on going. I'm getting soaked over here. And keep your head up. That's what we want to do. The more you set in there, the better chance you're going to have to fill it past the line. Come on, we can do it. Past the line is what we want to do with four seconds remaining. Come on. Stop right there. Let's see if it is past the line. She's saying, oh, no, and I think you have a reason to say, oh, no, it's under the line. Let's put $100 over on the blue team. You're going to take that off. Okay, let's move on back. Accuracy is the key on that one. You were missing a lot of the first shots, and if you would have hit more of those, you would have done it. No question about it, but the Blue Devils have $100. They have control of this $25 question. Madison Avenue is the heart of the American advertising industry. In what city is this famous thoroughfare? Take it at 125, or you could dare them. New York City. Is right. Manhattan is the borough, and you have a $50 lead. New Devils. The recently deceased William M. Gaines is best known as the founder of what iconoclastic magazine? It's been in all the papers fairly recently. Dare. All right, now we're 50. The recently deceased William M. Gaines, best known as the founder of what iconoclastic magazine? Or you could double dare them back. The double there. Now worth 100. You're going to take a physical challenge. Physical challenge. Uh, it's, it's Mad Magazine, believe it or not. Come on down. I'll tell you a little story about Mad Magazine. Any two people, don't go away. We, uh, we are going to set up the uh, Family Double Dare Cookie Factory, but do you ever read Mad Magazine? Yes, I have. Yeah, we used to uh, read it all the time. There, there was an article in there, sort of a takeoff on the show called Double Damp. I was Muck Slummer, and we had Robin and Harvey in there, and uh, I'd like you to join me right over there. And, and you, sir, could you face the audience and stand right over there? We are going to have our famous... Oh, good. We've got something for you to stand on to help you out here. We're going to have our famous Family Double Dare Cookie Machine. Can we see a cookie over here? Could you show us? Oh, good. And when this comes out, what you must do... Yeah. Oh, you know. Good. Pull that down to once if you could, then maybe something... Oh, good. Don't, don't, don't let too much of it out. That's some cream filling. And uh, can we see another cookie there, Dennis? Thank you. And what you will do, sir, is you'll make a, uh, a sandwich cookie. Now, what kind of cookie does that look like, sir? Uh, peanut butter patty. <laughs> All right. We'll talk about that later. Um, <laughs> what you must do is take this and toss it over here in this direction. And you need to get it. In the, uh, in the cup, it's a cup of, uh, oh, what is this? Oh, maybe it's coffee uh, with lots of cream in it. Now, if the uh, sandwiches separate over here, that doesn't count. You must get four of them completely in there. 30 seconds brings you up to, uh, to $100. What kind of cookie was that, sir? Oreo. An Oreo. Thank you so much. I, I knew I could get him to say it. <laughs> All right, 30 seconds, $100 at stake. Start that cookie machine. Get that going on your mark. Get set. Go! Okay, okay, open it up this time. Come on. Oh, there's a little bit of cream, and uh, here goes our first one. Easy, but it's not, folks. There's cookie number one. Can they get four in there? That's the question. Oh, no. One out of four so far with 17 seconds remaining. There's two. Can they get three in there? Yeah, three. If it stays, and they get this in, it'll work. No, we've got three. We need one more with seven seconds. Yes, they did it. With five seconds. Whoa. Man, it's throwing cookies. There they are, all four of them. Come on up. Let's add $100. Well, I got to tell you. I didn't think it was going to happen. I uh, got a couple, then nothing, and then a third, and it was on the edge there, but it worked for them. They have added $100 to their uh, score. They have $225. We're in round one. That means we have another $25 question. According to the White House, which of the following inanimate objects does President Bush keep in his Camp David desk drawer? Is it his college baseball glove? Is it a coal miner's helmet? Or is it a paper tiger named Cheney? It's worth 25 You could dare them. Dare. Now worth 50. According to the White House, what uh, inanimate object does he keep in his drawer? College baseball glove, coal miner's helmet, a paper tiger named Cheney. You're going to double dare them back. It's worth 50. Bring it to 125. College baseball glove? Is right. Add $50. This college baseball glove. And uh, that sound means it's the end of round one. And with $225, the Blue Devils have the lead. Guess what? But you know, uh, $125 for the Terminator isn't a bad number. We're going to come
come back to a $50 toss-up. We're going to have a lot of fun. We have a super-duper obstacle course. Here we are. We're coming back with more. Stanley Double there. After we do this. You are watching Nick Gas. Family Double Dare. Welcome back. It's round two on Family Double Dare. That means all the dollar values will be doubled. And when you hear this sound right here, that means the game is over. Where's Chris? Bring Chris over here. Chris is a new member of our uh, team, our family. Uh, why don't you describe this, uh, this toss-up? Okay, this is personal foul. What they're going to do, they're going to grab all the towels here, mm -hmm. and they're going to pass it along right here. Mm -hmm. She's going to grab it. Mm -hmm. He's going to grab it. Mm -hmm. And then Dad must squeeze as much as he can into there. First person to get past that line wins a personal challenge. Right, way to go. Nice going there, Chris. Let's hear it for Chris Miles. $50 at stake. And uh, could, uh, could add money over there. Could add money over there. We'll find out who gets it. On your mark, get set, go! Who's going to do it? Come on, squeeze, pick time, and get past that line. Now, if uh, the red team does it, they'll get $50 at it. Bring them up to $175. Uh, otherwise, we'll add $275 for the blue team. And this is pretty darn close. Now, if you run out of towels, you got to send them back, folks. You gotta get those towels back if you run out. If you run out, you gotta send them back and dip them into that green, gas like slimy substance. Who's gonna get past there? You may want to send those towels back, Blue Team. Squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. Blue Team was ahead. Now the red team has taken the lead. We gotta get past that line. This is a close and exciting race. And uh, the red team has been sending those towels back a little bit faster than the blue team. And I think that's why they're ahead. But now the blue team is getting the hang of it, and they're squeezing them. <laughs> oh, and I just got it right in the ear. Keep on squeezing it. Come on, red team. Come on, blue team. $50 at stake. We're in the family double dare tournament of champions here on Nickelodeon. The Nick Studios. And yes, the red team, they got past the line right over there. You can add $50. Come on, let's go. That was a close race. Blue team started off ahead. Red team took it, though. They now have $175. They are only, whoa, gosh, not much. $50 behind. Oh, there go towel racks dropping all over the place. We now have $50, $100, and $200 in this round, and uh, let's find out who's going to that course. Courting, uh, or actually appointed in 1967, who became the first black U.S. Supreme Court justice? Bring up to 225 would tie this game up, or you could dare the Blue Devils. There. Now worth $100. He was appointed in 1967. Who was the first black U.S. Supreme Court justice? Or you could double dare them back. Thurgood Marshall? Is right at $100. $325 now for the Blue Devils. Nicely done. Thurgood Marshall. The Yangtze River is located on what continent? The Yangtze River is located on what continent? Or you could dare them. Asia? Is right again. You now have $375. They have a $200 lead, but in round two, that could switch like that. What time period is older? Is it the Mesozoic, the Paleozoic, or the George Burnzoic? Which is older? Would bring it to $425. Or you could dare them. Dare. Now worth $100. Which time period is older? The Mesozoic, the Paleozoic, the George Burnzoic? Or you could double dare them back. Paley's on it? Is right, and $100 over there. Well, we have some smart families with us today. $275 for the Sliminators. They have control. On what national monument will you find the words, Give me your tired, your poor, your huddled mass masses yearning to breathe free? It would bring you to $325. Statue of Liberty? Is right. By Emma Lazarus. You now have $325. The red team is making their move in round two. Comedian Albert Brooks, his birth name was which of the following? Was it Albert Ginsburg? Was it Albert Schlory? Or was it Albert Einstein? Bring it to 375 and tie Albert his name. Albert Flor Flory? Flory? Yeah. It's incorrect. It's Albert Einstein. His brother is Super Dave Osborne. No dare at stake. No money changing place. Control over here to the Blue Devils. In the movie Wayne's World, Wayne and Garth ask a passing motorist for what type of sandwich condiment? Take you over $400, or you could dare the Sliminators. Dare. Now worth $100. In the movie Wayne's World, Wayne and Garth ask a motorist for what type of sandwich condiment? Grey Poupon. Let's you start. are right. $425, and you have taken the lead. Could I have a little Grey Poupon? Look at that. No uh, physical challenges in round two, but boy, this has been exciting.
According to the Chinese calendar, 1992 is the year of which animal? Is it the year of the monkey, the dragon, or the bobcat gulf weight? It's worth $50. Need an answer. The monkey? Is right again. Oh, at yeah. 50, 475 to 375. A moment ago, they were $200 behind. They are now $100 ahead. Who knew it was the monkey? Who knew? You, how did you know that? Because I think I was born in the year of the monkey. You were born in the say. year of the monkey. Okay. Pikes Peak is located in what state? Take over $500. Colorado? Is right again. $525 now. Climbinated from Tampa, Florida. Doing great. Whom is Don Quixote's trusted companion? Who they think they know? Can they come up with the name? Or are you going to dare the Blue Devils? Great game today. Dare. Now worth $100, bringing up to $475. Whom is Don Quixote's trusted companion? Or you could double dare them back. Double dare. Now worth $200, you're going to take a physical challenge. Physical challenge. It was Sancho Panza, and we have a $200 physical challenge, all four of you. What a great day this is. Right over here. Right over here. Here's what we're going to do. We're going to do this to the tallest. Who's the tallest? Is it mom or dad? Uh, dad, okay, dad, you stand over there next to that cement mixer. Mom, you are next, and you, young lady, are third. Now, your job is very important. Let's come right through here. Excuse us. And you, sir, are going to be standing there next to Robin. Put that hat on. You have to control the cement mixer. How do you do that? Well, when we say go, we have some gack in here. Can we turn this on and just show them what it sounds like? There you go. And you will let that gack out by letting this down slowly. Okay, you can turn it off. Now, here's what's going to happen. I'm going to put that back up there, and we have to get the cement to go from this side of the stage all the way over here to this side of the stage past this line. Well, how do we do it? Well, we line up. And we use these troughs like this. And you can move this anywhere you want. Now, if you feel it's better here, there, wherever you want to put it, it's up to you. But you start it, and that cement must go down here, down here, down here, and into this container. If you get it past this line in 30 seconds, you will become $200 richer. Otherwise, we are going to have a lead change one more time. Everybody understand what they have to do? You can put this anywhere you want. I'm going to start off with it here, but you can move it any way you want. Make sure that she can hold on to this handle because this is a little bit heavy. I'll tell you what. Start it up. You hold on to it just like that. When I say go, you can let it go. On your mark. Get set. Go! Oh, gosh. Can we do it? Get it over there. Come on, folks. Whoa, slowly but surely, we need to have it happen. Can we get it to go over there? We have 22 seconds remaining, and they're having a hard time getting this to work. Can, yeah, that's the right idea, but you need to get it in that container. Can we get it with 13 seconds remaining? Keep on doing it. Come on, gang, work together, work together. Oh, almost. This is a real family-oriented stunt, and if they work together with three seconds... No, we don't have much liquid in there at all. They had a hard time. Let's put $200 over on this side of the board. They have $575. Come on up. Oh, man. I got clobbered with that stuff. We have a $50 question. Let's try to find out what it is. What does the French phrase say? Oh, say la vie mean. It means that's life and that's life because that sound means it's the end of the game. And with $575, the Blue Devils win today's game. A family medal there. Congratulations. We saw battle today, and you'll be at that course relatively soon. Well, Sliminators, I thought that was your game, but things switch around. Boy, who let that thing go? It went all over me. You do have $525 yeah. in Doc. Let's give them some great party gifts, huh? On the go, on the run. Push tops are the go-anywhere candy with lots of wild, outrageous flavors. So for the ultimate pop, give your taste buds a push with Push Pops. Push the Push Pop up. Celebrate the golden anniversary of Disney's 10th animated masterpiece, Melody Time, on video for the first time ever from Walt Disney Home Video. The Gap is on the way back. You are watching your games, your sports, Nick Gas. Hey, games and sports fans. Welcome to the Family Double Dare Obstacle Course. We had a very tight game. My friend Casey is here, and uh, where do you live, Casey? Brooklyn. Yeah, and you say that you want to grow up and move to California, and your favorite show is what? What would you do? Oh, that's good. And your heart is beating very fast, I heard, huh? Yeah. Why? I don't know. I'm excited. You're excited? Oh, good. Well, let me tell you about this first obstacle over here. This is Jamie. She's going to get on this boat, and she's going to have to paddle all the way across there. Now, Jamie, if for some reason you find it's taking too much time, you get about halfway there, you jump out of that boat, you run over there and get that flag, and you say, Doc, tell them what they'll win. Uh, uh. Say, Doc? Doc. 
Tell them what they'll win. I don't know. <laughs> I tell them. <laughs> the Porsche 959 from Nico. High performance racer with scale speeds up to 200 miles an hour. Includes extra set of off-road tires, battery pack, and charger. And it's only from Nico. We're over at the brick wall, and I'm going to have this nice family Double Dare t-shirt to give over here to Casey. And Casey, that is for you. And uh, give him a round of applause. You go back up there to Mom and Dad. Thank you, sir. You are going to do number two, and you must get down on this tricycle. Now, you don't have to pedal, but you can use your feet. It is very, very slippery. You go through that brick wall, you reach up, you grab the flag, and when you do it, you'll win this. Bushnell's high-tech astronomical telescope, sleek and contemporary, designed to appeal to young and mature viewers alike. Explore the world beyond. From Bushnell. Jenny, you have the mush mouth. Here's what you do. You, sorry about that, Jimmy. You lift that up like that. You go all the way down here. Once you end up down here, you stand up, you do this, and you win what? The BCA Glacier Mountain Bike. It's tons of off-road fun. With 12 speeds, with 12 speeds and fat tires, the BCA Glacier is one mean mountain machine. Gak Geyser is for you, sir. It's going to start to explode right about now. Take a look at that. You want to end up over here. Let me show you. The way you do it is you grab that flag, you come down that fireman's pole, and when you do that, that's the halfway point, and here's the halfway prize. The Harvard Supreme Table Tennis features a heavy-duty frame and competition top for years of family fun. Harvard Sports, professional quality products for today's active sports enthusiasts. Look at the old rub down, down over here. This is shark. And what you must do is get up on this diving board, go over here, and reach inside the shark's mouth. Now, there is a flag in there. There's also some other goop. Don't let that slow you down. Find it as quickly as you can and win this as quickly as you can. The Discovery 3000 Zoom Hammer from Fuji, featuring Fuji's drop-in loading system, red-eye reduction capability, and a 38 to 115 millimeter zoom lens. Fuji, a new way of seeing things. You look awful clean right now, but we will resolve that. You know how? Yo, no problem. You pull on the old uh, cord here of the Nick Blimp, and a uh, flag will come down as well as some goop. And uh, it'll be like a Gallagher concert here, folks. You'll have to be very careful. You may get do uh, gooped upon. And uh, tell him uh, what they'll win. Doc, would you do that? Smith Corona WB 1100 Intelligently Quiet Word Processor. features 23,000 character memory. True line LCD display. And a built-in Spellwright 75,000 word electronic dictionary. This one is the nose, and you look up the nostrils, and you get the flag, and when you get the flag, you get the prize. What is the prize? The prize, these portable home theater. It's a nine-inch cable-ready stereo TV with tape recorder, AM, FM radio, detachable speakers, and remote control. Great for your college dorm or summer home from GE. Here's the works. What you must do if there's not much time is to get on this thing, and you can crawl across. As soon as you get over here, you push this up, and if you get under there and grab the flag in 60 seconds or less, what is the grand prize? They'll be going to Club Med and Luther Bahamas. Club Med has family resorts where kids learn to, kids learn to water ski or fly to trapeze and parents join in or do their own thing. This year, take home a Club Med vacation in the Bahamas. Take a look at this pretty shot. We have a person ready to go across. We have 60 seconds on the clock and we have a great audience as always here at the Nick Studios at Orlando at Universal Studios. On your mark, get set, go! Get all the way across. Come on, big shot. Dive off this. Get over there. Just dive off and get over there. Come on, you're wasting too much time. Got halfway. This is the brick wall. They're going to have to pick up time now. Whoa! Crash down through. Stand up. We're going over to Mush Mouth, number three. And the exchanges are what often win and lose this course. Come on, come on, come on. Get on there big time. 39 seconds remaining. They're going to have to pick up some time now. We have 34. And if we can do this in about three seconds, they'll be right on schedule. Let's go into Shark! Shark! 27 seconds. The audience is yelling, go, 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 go. Coming up next is the Nick Flimp. Where is that flag? There it is. Let's go over to the next limb. We're down to 17 seconds. There it is. There's the flag right down there. Grab it. We are down to 13. There's still a chance to pull this off, folks. Get under there and find that flag. Come on, come on. We're down to six seconds. Can he do this? We're down to four, three, four. Oh, boy, you did it. You got it. Congratulations. Holy cow. Listen closely, Doc, and tell everything you want. They got it all. It's worth $6,000. You reached for it, you missed it, you got it just as the clock went to zero. One of the most exciting wins we ever had on Family Double Day. Hope you had a good time. We did see you soon here on Nickelodeon. Bye bye. And this is your announcer, Doc Holiday. We'll see you next time on Family Double Day. Double Dare was produced before a live audience in Nickelodeon Studios, Universal Studios, Orlando, Florida.